Uh, but we gather some sources that speak of four five people doing learning in the court case on Monday or Saturday morning tomorrow. Uh, so we're gonna be there to, to also give a briefing for our source, also give our information that a phone is a or is supposed to be speaking to the press uh, at the airport and he's gonna be releasing some strong words and recommitting his uh, uh, his loyalty to the work of the Latin people in a Latin uh, because of the disability alive. He said me as speaker uh, over the last eight to nine months, he has been very tough for him. Uh, he has been to a lot of our lodges, including uh, the public at large, the hearing at party level. Uh, but let me just give you a breaking news. Some representatives who signed the resolution are back. Pleasant good morning and welcome to DN News Liberia. I'm Sarah Augustine Mario Jr. here this morning uh, providing some updates following uh, hinted uh, and controversial issue in the removal of the speaker of the 54th list to destroy on yesterday. So yesterday you witnessed uh, on camera uh, some lawmakers uh, reading a resolution of uh, Fonati uh, Kofa to be removed and, and, and he saw wars exchanged among representatives. He saw he saw wars were exchanged among representatives yesterday uh, calling each other criminals rogue, uh, corrupt figure, and, and you just name it all. In fact, some of them exchange insults at each other, threatening uh, to, to either harm each other, or even fight yesterday. There was so much kind of talk so and rock so around here, yeah. <coughs> especially at the John Timbers, who have four and against. Uh, one like four or five of the representatives from the CDC angle were defending uh, the removal of the speaker where uh, about 49 or I mean 47 lawmakers uh, were at the stage of removing the speaker. Well um, now this is the update. Um, yesterday uh, even major reaches uh, the public that uh, certain group of lawmakers were expected to read a resolution that is backing by law uh, to remove the speaker count on on several allegations ranking to corruptions. Uh, he is not managing the, 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 the position well. He isn't working in line with his colleagues. With, with that, uh, the, they have planned to remove him. And, and with inner souls, according to, to what we, we heard, because of, because of, um, because of an audit uh, to be established by the the speaker, uh, which is expected to kick off on October 28th. Uh, due to that, the deputy speaker, the vice president, uh, Senator Prince Moi, and, and other names that was uh, called, uh, that were called, stood up against the process and desires to remove the speaker. Yesterday, some lawmakers told news reporters that 15,000 United States dollars were dished out to federal lawmakers. 15,000 United States dollars. Evidence were proven. Um, listings came out with signatures of lawmakers re receiving 15,000 United States dollars to remove the speaker. Oh, quite, it was quite unfortunate that the resolution raised today wasn't in law. 
though they were they were right to read a resolution but the law gave him say the resolution should be done in session it shouldn't be at the capitol building for any of the capital uh, i mean in any cities where the capital building is seated since uh, it is in Monrovia, Monserrado, uh, they could have gone to Bentor City, uh, Virginia, and anywhere to have the Quran read the resolution with two thirds of the representatives. Uh, that could be at least 49 or 47 of them. 49, 48 of them could read the resolution to have the speaker removed but yesterday it, it was quite dramatic very very interesting that uh democracy was so so up yesterday here at the capitol hill for 15 united uh 15 000 united states dollars in 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 a lawmaker voice and a code representative callings he said that Yes, he signed for the fifteen thousand dollars by Representative James Collier of Bond County. He received his fifteen thousand. Uh, the other guy to say um, uh, another another representative attests to him receiving fifteen thousand dollars. But uh, the, the 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 news is that uh, the, the 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 removal of the speaker failed because. Uh, the red resolution standing outside that 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 alone have it to be filled. You can't read a resolution outside. There should be a session. You should be in a session and call for quorum to read the resolution. Article 49 of the Constitution gave the representative the right to hold quorum and remove the speaker. Yes, it is a right. It is democratic, uh, uh, and, and it is lawful. But uh, for what happened yesterday, it was total, totally unlawful and inappropriate. So uh, with that, the official removal of the speaker fail. The speaker remains a speaker. He is a speaker, and will continue to be the speaker until. Uh, they do the the, the right four things uh, in removing the speaker. So this morning the building is calm. There's no noise. Uh, representatives are uh, are coming to go in their various offices. Uh, we are receiving a signal of north somewhere. We have to run there. Keep following us. Uh, we receive information that the student unification party. Station protests at the University of Liberia I mean, campus. We want to see if we can run there.